the bell icon to turn on notifications. In this lesson, we're going to see how we can do exactly the same thing, but this time using a text file. So I basically have all of the same information contained in the Excel spreadsheet that we used in the previous lesson in a text file instead. And the thing with text files is that they kind of look very jumbled. But the important thing to note here is that each of the fields is separated with a delimiter. And that delimiter in this case is a tab. So if you take a look at the heading row, you can see ticket number, then we have a tab, title, then a smaller tab, customer, tab, so on and so forth. Remember tabs in notepad files aren't always even, so we don't have the same amount of gap in between each field. It really depends on the length of the item in that particular column, let's say. And this is why it has this kind of jumbled look because nothing is lined up. And this is important information that we need to know if we're trying to import records from a text file. Now this time we are going to finish off the process and import these files in. So let's close this file down and let's run through the process. Now importing a text file is fairly similar to importing an Excel file. We go up to the external data tab into new data source from file, but this time we're going to choose text file. Now we get the same wizard pop up. So we just need to browse to where our file is located. There it is just there, ticket info import.txt and click on open. Once again, we're going to append the records to tuple ticket, which is our only table at the moment and click on OK. We're going to save the changes and close our table. And now you can see a preview of all of the data from that text file. So this is where it differs from the Excel import, because what we need to do here is we need to tell Access where our columns are separated. And we can do that using the delimiter, which is that tab separator. So right at the top, I have delimited selected by default. And you can see here it says characters such as a comma or a tab separate each field, which is perfect. So let's click on next. So now we get to choose the delimiter that separates our fields and the default is tab. And that is the one that we're actually using in our text file. However, if our fields were separated with a semicolon or a space or something else entirely, we could also specify that up here as well. One important thing, make sure that you define that the first row contains your field names. Let's click on next. We're importing to tuple ticket and let's click on finish. Once again, we get the option to save our import step. So if we plan to do this multiple times, this is a good option to choose because it's going to jump us straight to this end stage and save all of our previous settings that we just applied. I'm not going to do this because we're only importing this once in this course. So let's click on close and it pretty much looks like nothing has happened. So let's reopen Tubble Ticket and see if our records are there. Double click to reopen and check it out. How lovely does that look? So now we have a lot more data to work with. And what I might want to do is just go in here and maybe do some rearranging. So maybe I want to make these columns a little bit wider so I can see the full title. Um, maybe I want to make the priority slightly smaller, so on and so forth. I could go through, but in general, I like to organize my columns so that I can pretty much see all of my data on one page without having to scroll horizontally. Now that won't always be possible, but if you can, it's definitely worthwhile. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.